What is going on guys? Sid here with another installment of some Tekken 8 gameplay footage and guys it is the Tekken 8 Halloween drop slash the Tekken 8 Heihachi drop and guys it is Tekken 8 version 1.08 guys that is the update that is the patch the game has been has been patched again and new yeah. items have been dropped in yeah. the store so i didn't pick up heihachi yet but i did pick up the genmaji temple and of course i tricked out my four rank so guys for halloween as you can battle. see we have tricked out um our our character customization options right for four rank everything from the plate to the actual skin so guys i've got my Grim Reaper skin on Harang. Guys, I've got that nice little ghost in the background. Guys, we've been teetering um, between Raijin and Kishin um, from the last video to now. I haven't really touched Tekken 8 too much with too much intensity. Right? That level of intensity that we spoke about um, when I was donning my Dexter's Laboratory skin right? that I made, my custom Dexter skin. Right, um, I kind of like dialed it down after that, right? But still wanted to get some good times and still hang and, and, and just kick back and relax, shoot the breeze with my homies in the Tech 8 community, in the fighting game community. And it has been an absolute joy, it's been a pleasure. But guys, I did take a hiatus. I am currently still on a hiatus, right? Technically speaking, right? But, um, it, it's the new patch, right? So, version 1.08 of Tech 8. And, guys, I had to jump in and bring you guys some more gameplay footage. And at the beginning of the video, who you saw Dragon off, um, my Dragon off, um, I customized him as well. And he was a version of Frankenstein, right? So, um, I made my own little Frankenstein's monster, right? A uh, version of Dragon off, right? And, and fit really well right especially for halloween and i had another horang customizable character um created right i did i don't want to give it away because at some point i am going to show show you guys the, 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 the other skin that i've been working on right and it's a doozy as well and it actually fit into spooky season specials and fit into just the halloween aspect of Tekken 8 and just in yeah. gaming in general right the spooky season specials but guys um we're gonna look on the screen i'm gonna get three matches in in this video right and as you guys as as i stated right um i've been teetering between raijin and kishin for quite some time when i do jump into the game right because i have i, I kind of i really did dial it back i dialed it back um just for a, a much more casual experience right so we are focusing on tricking out the characters making some absolutely epic customizable skins and just giving the game you know um uh, giving the game a lot of replay value, right um making sure that we you know max out every feature possible right so i still have lydia to unlock right and hachi i will have to eventually unlock as well haven't really gotten around to them right i haven't even gotten around to the story mode in Tekken 8 as of yet right i've um, just been playing ranked right like everyone else right and this is a purely you know like it's it's, it's just been a purely fun experience right the majority of the community they're absolutely Awesome, right? There are some toxic members, right? But that's in every community, right? Don't really care to say too much about them, but um, I kind of like left. One of the main reasons I left the, the FIFA community, right? I didn't leave, right? But I just took, I just dialed it back with every community, right? It's because you kind of have the the hyper. Uh, I don't know, um, the, the overly passionate uh, members of the community, and kind of like um. You know, like, they, they kind of ruin it from time to time. They, they kind of, like, dull the experience, right? Not not too much, but they are there, right? And then I jumped into the Tekken 8 community, and I saw a couple of people, right, um, behaving in a way that I kind of remember the people community to be. But I know that's to be expected, right? That's what I'm trying to get at, right? Because you have to remember, like, these are elite level players. They're professional players, right? So they're going to be... Not everyone's going to be... Uh, like I think uh, I touched on this in the previous video. Not everyone's gonna wanna play at a D2 level or a D2 level competition. Right? 
right? In other in, in professional sports terms, right? not everyone's gonna want to play in a D3 or D2 level or even a D1 level. They'll just straight up want to play at the elite level 24/7, and there's nothing wrong with that, right? It's just that I am old. I am old as hell, right? And to even you know kick kick back with a lot of these younger heads right it's 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 it, it is a task it's a task but it's absolutely fun right because you really do test yourself right reflexes do go though right it's not it's not a joke it's not a joke like if you peer back if you go back to any of my uh like sports gaming days right um, when i was much more FIFA intensive right look at any of the level matches the the, the foot dance level matches right um you can see my reflexes just start to go right um progressively go over the iterations of the game right and I, 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 I if you guys aren't new to the channel you guys know that I spoke about how um you know like uh, I played previous Tekkens before right and in previous Tekken right um I took a break from Tekken right like I was like I used to get perfect perfect, perfect right and what I'm noticing now, right, in my match, what I'm noticing now is that it, it, it's not existing, right? Like, I'll get a perfect here and there, right? But it's, 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 it's against so, there's so, there, it's, there's such depth in the fighting game community, which is a great thing, which is an absolutely epic thing, right? There's so much depth that, um, it, it, it's much more of a rarity, right? Unfortunately, right? But, that means that you're going against like, really high caliber players, right? Across the board. And I think um, now that we're way past the halfway point since the game dropped, right? Only the diehards. The same thing in the FIFA community, right? That only the diehards stay, right? Only the people that um, play this game religiously will stay in, right? Um, uh, unless, you know, like they, they have like, a couple of well games that they cycle through, right? And we, we do. We, we are going to plan on doing that more so going forward, right? I'm actually going to be downloading Call of Duty, right? Just to get acclimated to first-person shooters, right? Um, because Black Ops is dropping soon, right? And um, I am going to be transitioning over to Twitch live stream soon. So, guys, uh, of the same name, right? So, my Twitch URL is going to be... Um, the link is going to be dropped in the most previous videos and it's dropped in my bio on my youtube but yeah uh, we are going to be transitioning over to some live content right rather than the official compositional content that this is right like these videos that are on youtube are going to be like the composition right but for the live streaming right we're we're definitely getting that done by the end of this year right uh, probably i'm slating it for maybe um i've got to get a uh, uh, yeah. New York, New York is all about space, right? And space management, and space is so hard to come by. So I really gotta like trick out my um my space, right? Um, for uh, to make it more camera friendly, right? So I'm in the process of doing that. Maybe by November time, right? I, I've just um I've just uh set up my uh, Twitch. Um, it, it's in the process, right? So we will be doing live gaming, live streaming, um, much more frequently, with, with much more intensity, right? A perfect, right? Finally got a perfect, right? And this is against an opponent that I've played against um, uh, many well times over, right? Um, usually I've seen the usual suspects now in Tekken, right? Um, uh, way after the eight month mark, right? Um, not eight month, way, way after the, bit, uh, the six month mark, right? Um, oh, wow, where was I going with that? But you guys get the point, right? After the halfway point, the game has dropped, right? Um, it's, it's, it's really just, just that, right? You're going to end up seeing a lot of the usual suspects. Same thing used to happen in FIFA, in FC24, and, you know, in the future FCs, right? But in all FIFA games, right? Um, we used to have that, where, and, and in any other game, right? You usually end up smashing the most proximity to you, right? So, um, uh, this user, right? Um, I faced him way more than... You know, um, he's he's a known player in the Tekken 8 community, and he's absolutely good, right? Um, everyone that you're seeing on the screen, right? Like, like, uh, for the blues, Round right? One. For the blue ranks, right? Um, for Fujin, for Raijin, for Kishin, right? Um, the Bushin, right? All of those ranks, those are kind of like known as like the murderers, bro. Kind of like um, that kind of like. 
reality, right, is it, it's kind of like on every, you know, like it, it's non-stop hype of competitiveness, right, well, in, in, in that category, those, those blue categories for some reason. He's kind of like known in the community, right, like these guys can jostle. 24 7 right for higher rankings right some people play casual right they kind of like in that that limbo kind of like um area right in tennis, right where they're like prestigious right but they're also not elite elite the, like the, the the top 10 the top five percent in the world right um or, or i think you get what i'm saying right um it's kind of known in the community right you're like in the proverbial no man's land where you're a pro, but you're not a pro's pro, right? Um, if, if that makes any sense to you, right? So th I'm happy with that, right? Uh, I'm happy with, uh, we're jumping back to competition, right? But I'm happy with uh, with that understanding, right? Because I can't, there's so, so games are essentially languages. There's only so many languages you learn, right? And with every, every future iteration, you have to tweak your language, right? Um, tweak your language, your language understanding, right? How um, the game same thing um and they and this literally ties back over into the patch right because they literally just repatch the game right so in any case what i'm learning about the one one of the features that's been bugging a lot of people um one of the aspects of tekken 8 that's been bugging a lot of people um in the community in this particular community has been the size of right because as I remember, one of the main ways I was getting, I used to get perfects like nonstop, were uh, was due to get probably in Tekken Five, right? Uh, that was like the last Tekken before I like you know like started like dropping off the face of the Tekken universe, right? So um in that in that sense, but uh, one of the things that made me such a great Tekken Five player was um the ability to sidestep fluidly and flushly right um here i think someone did uh, like a statistical charting right I, and i saw it on um on social media uh recently right um and they charted like the best and the worst players to sidestep with and a lot of the females right um because of basic basically the character models right character models lend to easier clearing so out right like moving out of the way from sidestepping uh, from one. you know uh, using utilizing the sidestep right and now here the success rate of the sidestepping is just not really there right um and that's one of the things right that, that that's kind of like bugging me about this game right and a lot of people in the, in the group are just like yeah good right um, but this is an actual like future issue, right? Um, that it, it's it's not a big deal. It's not too big of a deal, but it's it's a it, it's a big deal for some people who really just incorporated in a major way in their in their gameplay. If that makes any sense to you, right? But in terms of like combination strings and things like that, that's just you know anyone on any given day can do anyone else. I always preface my game that right? and that's what this game gives a fighting game. Right, um, in particular, right, because the matches are so fast, they're so fast, right. You can play different. You can play completely different um, in, in, in three rounds, right. The first three rounds versus the second three rounds, right, and versus the third three rounds, right. So if that makes any sense to you, right. Um, sometimes it's an adrenaline boost. Sometimes it's matching your, your opponent's tempo, right. M maybe it's the first match you started in the day, right. And if it's really just high intensity in a short amount of time so matches go by super super fast right and you don't really have time to recalibrate right and it does come down to blocking right um the higher up you go it, it a lot of the matches are determined via blocking and how good you are with your strings right and how weak and fluid you are with your strings, right? your strings are effective Right? Sometimes we'll have like this, like Boring is a perfect example of this, right? Where a lot of his 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 his, his combos, his combo strings are like they're huge amounts, right? They're they're absolutely huge, huge amounts. But the damage that it translates to is not a huge amount, right? And for some reason today, right? Like um I've been jostling back and forth with this kitchen right now, right? Um and today, like, I think I lost my kitchen rank twice, right? On October 1st, I probably lost it twice at both times with a dragon all the right? Um, so that is something, right? A lot of people, when they're classifying the tier list right now, right? Dragon off is kind of like one of the 
hyper overpowered tech in the board, right? There's a couple low of them, right? But Dragunov is up there in terms of like consistently being one of the most annoying, Final annoyingly round. overpowered players, right? Fight. And his screams are just, you know, it's, it's not as beautiful to watch, but does the effectiveness aspect of it. Um, it, the effect of this tra uh, translates into game, right? So I did check out, I did check out that Frankenstein dragon off. Maybe I'll give him a run, right? At some point in the Tekken 8 series, right? Um, but right now, if we're focusing on the screen, because we've been rambling, right? Um, I think CLR age as well, right? Um, is another usual, he or she, that user is another usual suspect, that Luigi, that that Kazuya Luigi hybrid, right? That's all him, right? And that's so awesome, right? Because I have a, um, I have, um, I believe I have a Luigi set up on my Shaggy and uh, Waluigi as well, right? So, um, that's absolutely epic. I've seen Vegeta, I've seen Goku, I've seen so many. I've seen, uh, I saw Optimus Prime, right? Someone uh, with Optimus Prime in the jack, right? So I saw that hybrid. Um, I think I just saw a uh, online. I saw a uh, Optimus or Satan hybrid, right? So, um, absolutely epic what everyone's doing in the fighting game like technically in terms of like tricking out and customizing their characters has just been absolutely a ball it's been a blast to see right and a lot of the a lot of uh a lot of people are like oh yeah <laughs> tekken 8 is really just like a you know it's a fashion game right it's it's, it's a wardrobe game right that's what it's, it's becoming known as but that's a good thing honestly it's a good thing it lends to the replay value right? and it's coming back right? because after what after like like playing at an insanely highly Round prestigious three. you know like you can only Fight. do that for so long if the game is just all technical 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 right you just gonna have to make the drop off but look at this CLR is just 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 absolutely Round annihilated me with Kazuya I absolutely got a perfect right but today I've been like spread like I think in the first hour of the game right um I kind of did like an insane amount of damage in terms of like winning right I was winning like non-stop right and then by like the second and third hour of um just testing uh, tricking out my horang tricking out the characters and everything right um kind of started sucking really bad right um I kind of dropped off and it kind of just just went to you know, like the thing, take a break, right? Take a break. Yep. So, and you pick up games, right? Yep. You know, to, to, to save yourself from the game, right? So, after all, everything becomes monotonous. But guys, we're ending off with a perfect in this video. A very short video. 18 minutes and 35 seconds is the runtime. And guys, if you saw at the beginning of the video when we were doing the practice right before we got in, I was actually mining battle. Monster Mash, right? So if you look at the right at the beginning, I think I do it right now as well, but you'll see. Yeah. Okay, you did the mash, right? You did the monster mash, right? So guys, peace, love, all the blessings to you and yours. Happy early Halloween. Happy following, happy October 1st and October 2nd when you guys do see this video, but it's made in October 1st. Happy starting of October. Guys, happy Halloween. Happy uh, autumn solstice. Guys, Um, peace, love, all the blessings to you and yours.